So with each day of the Olympics, we are going to be making a video covering every single bit of news from each event. We're going to talk through all the results from every single competition. So if you have missed any news of the Olympics or maybe it's been going on while you've been asleep, so this is your place to find out what's been going on in the Olympics and we will cover every story. So please consider subscribing, turning on post notifications, leaving a like and also comment down below your predictions for future events and also what you thought of the events, what we're touching on in this video. First up in the men's hammer throw, Polish athlete Nowicki qualifies with the furthest throw of 79-78. 75-73 was needed to progress to the final. In the women's 1500 meters, Faith Kipyegon qualifies as the fastest with a 4.01.40. But the main news was Sif and Hassan falling at the bell, getting up and still winning her heat with the last lap in 60 seconds, which included her fall. And good news for Canada as both Staffords qualify for the next round. In the men's long jump Olympic final, it was a double podium for Cuba, with Echeverria and Massa getting silver and bronze. But it was a Greek athlete who jumped 8.41 in his final attempt to win gold. 8.41 was the same distance Echeverria jumped, but a better second furthest jump secured the win for Greece. In the women's 200 meters, I have no words for Elaine thompson Hera. She ran a 21.66 in the outside lane whilst jogging the last 30 meters. It's actually crazy to think that she can probably go for the world record in the final. In the women's 100m hurdles final, no surprise as favourite after the heats, Jasmine Kamchakwin wins in 12.37. Kendra Harrison, the world record holder, was second, and Megan Tapper of Jamaica in third. In the women's pole vault, rain caused issues early on and postponed the qualifiers. It took 4.55 to qualify, which seven athletes did on their first attempt. Sadly, Sandy Morris of the USA struggled with an injury and didn't make the final. Her pole also snapped in her first jump after the rain. In the women's discus final, it was America's first gold in track and field as Valerie Allman's first round throw of 68-98 won her the gold. Kristin Pundentz of Germany got silver and Jan Perez of Cuba got bronze. In the men's 400 meters, Karani James qualifies as fastest, easing down towards the finish with a time of 43-88. Michael Norman and Michael Cherry of the USA both made it through to the next round, but neither of them looked that impressive. The final is wide open. In the women's 400m hurdles, the top three qualifying times were from Sydney McLaughlin, Dalila Mohammed, and Femme Cabal. Exactly the order of what most people think the podium will be. 54-25 was the time needed to get into the final. In the men's steeplechase final, El Bakali won gold, Gurma of Ethiopia gets silver, and Kaigen of Kenya gets third. Fourth was Get Net Wali, who's ran an extremely fast 3000m time. I don't understand why he just doesn't focus on the flat distances, because over the hurdles his technique is awful and cost him a medal in the last lap. Now on to Sifan Hassan's second race of the day, the women's 5000m final. Sifan Hassan made headlines again by getting a clear victory with a 57 last lap, for a time of 14.36.79. Helena Beery of Ethiopia got second, and good after Sege got the bronze for Kenya. The performance of the day goes to Sifan Hassan as she fell in the 1500m heats, and still managed to win a heat and also her win 12 hours later in the 5000 meters as well as this elaine thompson's 21 66 with how easily she won and how easily she looked coming down the home straight the shock of the day would be sandy morris not making the pole vault final and daphne skippers not getting to the 200 meter final please like and subscribe and turn on notifications for all your news related to the olympics and we're going to be making a video every day as well as posting on our instagram and releasing podcasts so yeah, comment down below any results you were surprised with or not so surprised with and what you're most looking forward to or what your predictions are for the next few days of track and field.